Hello, this is Brad Chandler with Allegheny Educational Systems, and this is a quick tutorial on using Corel Draw to set up a simple file for either an epilog laser or a Roland printer cutter. Okay, so you can see I already have Corel Draw open here. Uh, we can just close this window, the quick start window, and we can simply go to File, New. All right. Automatically it asks us to give it a title. I'll say, I'm going to call this a hall pass. And my width is going to be 2.5 inches. You can change that to millimeters and other units of measure over here. We're going to leave it at inches for now. It's going to be 2.5 by 5 high. All right, I'll leave it at RGB and say OK. All right, so that gives me a little uh, boundary box here for my actual graphic. All right. Also, you can see I have rulers across the top. I have rulers across the bottom, uh, uh, across the top, across the side. And in order to give me uh, some guidelines, I can actually just click on the rulers and drag a ruler over for myself here. Okay. So if I wanted to get a center line there, for instance, I can drag that over. All right. Uh, notice that in Corel, the zero point is actually down at the lower corner. We can fix this by grabbing this little corner icon here of the rulers. And you can reset that zero, basically, right on that corner. And now I'm at zero and zero. Now, what we need to do here is uh, I've actually dragged some other... Um, guidelines from the rulers uh, just as I, did, as I did with the center line and I have those lined up we need to make a circle um, for some other parts to fit into so I need a circle that is 1 and 7 eighths so I'm gonna come over here on the toolbar and I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool and if I click in this corner and hold the left mouse button and drag that'll give me an ellipse but if I hold the control button as well on the keyboard, then I can create that circle. Now, I can also resize it. For some reason, that's lagging a little bit um, behind. But I can resize it here. get it right on that one and seven eighths okay so control gives me a, uh, a perfect circle there I'm gonna go back up here in the toolbar click my pick tool back to an arrow and now anytime I kind of scroll over my graphic my object here it's gonna turn into these little crosshairs so I can click again and hold and move this around or I can use the keyboard arrows and I can move that as well all right so I'm just going to move it somewhere around there if you wanted to you could again use another guideline and drag that down uh, to measure but that's all I wanted is really centered uh, horizontally okay now to prepare a file for laser cutting or print cutting uh, operations there's one important factor with line work and that is making sure that the line work is the right uh, line weight. In Corel Draw, that's right up here. As soon as you click the object, you have uh, a line weight here um, or outline width. And you can drop that down and choose hairline. All right. Now, you'd have to do that for any line work. Okay. If I have any anything like this um, or if I have some sort of boundary line like that. Notice all those kind of default to 0.5 points there. All right, That would not be um, cut properly. It would actually end up using the etch settings rather than the cut through settings. So we want to make sure that our line weight is always hairline if we're going to cut through. All right, um, And that is for the laser or on the uh, a print cut vinyl um, uh, machine like Roland um, this is going to get cut out of the vinyl okay so that we can apply this whole piece out here as a sticker and then peel this inner piece away 
All right, so that's a hairline. Um, now, the other thing that we need um, to set that for is if we are doing the print cut for the rolling, we also need to set this line, besides line weight, we need to set this as a particular palette, um, which I have already open over here, and that's cut contour. And so if I right click on that, that's also going to apply a certain color and a certain preset um, so that that is going to be cut out of the vinyl. All right. So for laser, you don't, you just choose hairline. For print cut, you choose hairline and this palette. Now, a word about setting up these palettes. Um, you want to go to window, if these palettes aren't open already for you. Window, and then dockers. And then we want to get to color palette manager, right here, all right. And then from that manager list that popped open, you can find Roland on here, and you want to choose Roland VersaWorks. Okay, now mine's uh, mine is uh, already visible. All right. Also, you might get some others uh, depending on your Roland system. If you have metallics, you might need that one. Uh, but mainly, we need the cut contour and the perf cut contour. Okay. Now we're just going to add some text here. So I'll come over to the text tool. Hey, I'm just going to click and I'm going to write my text. So we're going to say pass and I'm going to do another one over here. Click again and I'll say Mr. Brad. Now, for this one, I as soon as I click on, I switch back to my pick tool and click the text. I can now move this around. If I click on it uh, once and then click on it a second time, I get these arrows. My cursor changes to this little circular arrow thing. And I can grab one of those corners and turn this around. If I hold control, it should snap to certain degrees. Okay. Screen is lagging a little bit there. So I have that vertical, and I'm just going to drag that around, and I can also resize it if I grab one of those corners. And I still have my uh, center line here, so I'm not going to pass the center line. I'm just going to put pass right there. Now I can either change the font style from in this orientation or in the standard horizontal orientation by just going back to my text tool I can click right there and drag down okay and then I can change that font from here and I'll just choose something here All right same thing with this one over here. I'm going to grab it, drag this over, click it, grab one of these corners, hold control and click. Same thing on this side. I'm just going to grab one of those corners and resize that. Maybe I want to make sure that my text lines up. For just a simple graphic detail there. Okay. I think what I'll do is move this up a little bit. see how far away that is. There. And there. 
Okay, I didn't want to go that high. Okay. So I'm going to leave it about there. Now, maybe if we're printing and cutting, then we want a nice uh, colorful graphic in the background here um, to apply to this uh, vinyl sticker that we're going to make. So I can go to File, Import, and I'm going to go and try and find a file. So I found an image I had saved as a JPEG. I'm going to import that. I have this little icon here, the square ruler. I'm just going to click to place that image. And then again, I can resize this same way as I did before using control to snap. Uh, maybe I want to go the other way. And I'm going to resize this. Now, if I take it and overlap my graphic, I might not be able to see anything anymore. It's because this is at the front of the page. So if I right-click on top of this, I can go to Order, and I can say to Back of Page. And that way, my graphic, my color, is going to be behind everything else. I'm just going to resize that so that I know where the edge of my page is. I'm going to use another guideline. And I'm going to just stretch this out a bit. And there we go. Now, if you pull an image from the web, you may want to be careful that you don't get something um, too small. You want a rather large image so it's not too pixelated. This image that I grabbed is actually a bit pixelated, but it might be fun just to see how that's going to print out. It might be kind of a kind of cool uh, the way all those uh, colors are coming together. So uh, there's one more thing if we're going to print cut the this part. If we were just laser cutting cutting it. Um, Again, we would not need um, this colored background. Um, and nor do we need to laser cut if we're only laser cutting the circle. We also don't, we only need the circle. We don't need the outer border um, because we're going to put stock material in that is two and a half by five. But if we're print cutting in vinyl, then we do need um, a border there. Okay, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool and I'm just going to go up to zero there, drag that down, and make a little line. Again, hairline, and again, that has to be set to cut contour, all right, so that it knows uh, what we're outputting. Now, to save this file, we can go to File, Save As. That's just going to save it as a Hall Pass uh, Corel Draw file, but we need to actually save it as an EPS if we're going to output to our printer cutter. Okay, so we actually have to go to File Export when we're doing that, and then in the drop-down menu we'll get EPS, um, and then we would save that as EPS Hall Pass EPS and export. Okay, You'll leave all these settings the same. Uh, just make sure they're the same as mine. Native, RGB, TIFF, 8-bit, PostScript 3. Okay. Or if we're outputting to the laser, we would simply get rid of that rectangle. Oops. And we could we could leave all this other stuff here. We go to File, Print, choose our epilogue preferences, and get to the epilogue dashboard. Thank you.